Okay, here we have the band saw. Now I'm going to tell you that this one is one that we're really cautious about. As with all the power tools, you need to make sure there is a teacher with you and supervising you with this tool. Okay, I'm going to tell you this is probably the most dangerous or the second most dangerous tool that we have as far as what we allow students to use. Okay, the reason for that is in these doors there is a blade and this blade is one continuous blade that goes up and around these two wheels. Okay, one continuous blade right here. That blade, if it breaks, is going to come out and it's pretty much got to come out towards the operator. So that's a little thing to be careful about and a little thing that you have a lot of control over as the operator. If you have too high of a clearance here, then uh, you push against it, you're putting pressure on that, break, on that blade without any support, it's likely to break. If you hit a piece of metal, this blade is really thin metal, it's likely to break. Um, if you have the tension too tight on this, it is likely to break too. It has two springs pulling against it really hard while you're pushing a piece of wood into it. So there are things that can make this break. Um, we kind of leave this for expert users for the most part because it does have such potential to come out and hurt you. Now this particular blade has really fine teeth on it. Um, so it's made for cutting thin pieces of wood. I'm not going to cut a 2x4 with this saw. If I am, I really need to change the blade. Or one, this is going to take like 30 minutes to get through a cut. Or two, it's just not going to do anything, but it will dull the blade. Start smoking, set up the fire alarms, all the other things that we don't want to have happen. So this particular blade that is on it now is only for cutting thin pieces of Luan or thin pieces of plastic. So I have a piece of Luan here. Okay, the great thing about the band saw is it will cut curves where most of the other saws we have won't. The only other one that you guys will see on a normal basis that will cut a curve like this would be a jigsaw. Okay, um, bad thing about the band saw is you're really limited by the size of the saw is the size of wood or curve you can cut. So for instance, if I wanted to take this piece of wood and cut it here, I can't do that because this gets in my way. So I can cut on this side and be fine because I've got clearance. But if I wanted to cut it on the other side, I wouldn't be able to do that. Okay, so again, I have a thin piece of wood. So first thing I need to do is make sure this blade has support for me. So back here, there is a handle. I can loosen that up and I can raise and lower this support for that blade. You'll see it'll go up pretty high as if you can cut a thick piece of wood. Okay, technically that is possible, but not with this particular blade that we have on it. So if we were to cut a thick piece of wood like that, realistically this bandsaw isn't that powerful. Um, we could cut a thick piece of foam with it, and we have done that. And that might be why we would use uh, this height. But anything taller than that, we really need a better tool. So we're gonna go ahead and lower this down to where it has a little bit of clearance over the blade, but not, or over the piece of wood, but not a whole lot. So um, ideally I'd like to even go a little lower, but that's as low as this particular guard will work. So um, this saw, just like any other saw, if it seems to not be cutting well for you, then stop, talk to the teacher about it, and make sure everything is working properly. None of the saws we have should be hard to cut. If it's hard, there's a problem. Either A, it's user error, or B, the blade is dull, or something else is wrong with the saw. Most of the time, the blade is dull. So, um, we just have to change out the blade. That's all that's to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this curve for you, show you how to do that, okay? So first things first, I have to hit the switch, just like always. I do have it plugged in. I'm gonna look around me, make sure no one is horse playing around me, no one's trying to distract me, and that I have room to move, okay? Turn on my saw. I stand off to the side whenever possible, just knowing that that blade, if it has a problem, it's gonna try to go out that way. Um, you can stand here safely, it's fine most of the time, but I'm also making room for the camera, so.
anything like it's soft. Go slowly. Pull the board around. Now, in this, you can see I started to curve, but I was having a hard time keeping on the line. I don't want to turn too much and potentially break that blade because the blade is, you know, half inch thick. If I turn too much, it will put pressure on the size of the blade. So this is going to be trash anyway. So I'm just going to take taking this extra piece, cut it off in little pieces, and you can even come out all that piece off and follow the curve that I already had drawn, it's less for me to go back and get out, but I can do this in parts. So another trick when you have a sharp curve like that is to go ahead and just put some straight lines into it and stop where your curve is. Now I have some lines cut in. As I get to these pieces, it's, it's going to put less pressure on the blade because these pieces will fall out of the way um, once I get around to those parts. I'm going to go ahead and do another one this way and free up some of this. You can see that it already dropped off some pieces for me. So I'm going to come back in here. And here's where I get a little bit of an issue with that thing. Uh, so I have to be careful. I may just have to come back around from the other angle. See how these pieces fall out to the side? They're out of my way now. I can throw those away and come back in from the other angles and get as long as the blade's going and I'm going straight back, that's perfectly acceptable. And I did kind of do less sharp curves and then go back and in and narrow them down and narrow them down. So this is a pretty extreme curve to cut. It's not that often that you would have to cut something like this. But if you do, you got a tool that can do it and keep you safe.